Ludwig von Beethoven once said, what you are, you are by accident of birth. She's been at it since this afternoon. She's not doing it to get anything. She might just be staring down the barrel of greatness. We made that. Music is like such a powerful character in this movie. Ah! I thought you said I picked the music. Iggy Pop! Iggy Pop! Fire up the jam, sister. Let's hear something old school. Mia is a young girl who kind of has everything going for her. She's becoming an accomplished musician. You can't hide in that rehearsal room forever. It's too late. I see you. She has a great relationship. Adam is an up-and-coming Portland rocker. They couldn't be more different, and yet they couldn't be more similar because they share this passion. Why me? Because I like to watch you play. You go to another place. You get this crease in your forehead right there. And you're beautiful. He just takes an interest in her interest in music that he doesn't necessarily listen to or follow, and I think he kind of admires that. Mia, yeah, you've got something special. Try to stay open to it. Don't go closing any doors on yourself. He really loves her for who she is. How come you've never written a song for me? I'm not good at writing about things that make me happy. She shouldn't be scared to hang out with those guys. They're us. Exactly. Her parents are rockers. Her dad is a former punk rocker. Mom was the ultimate groupie. She's the only classical musician, but they definitely love each other. Hey, Mom, who's the toughest, hottest rocker chick you can think of? Debbie Harry. Do you like me better? Like this. The you you are now is the same you I was in love with yesterday, the same you I'll be in love with tomorrow. In psychology, they talk about how you either marry your mother or your father. And the Adam is kind of the representation of, of both of us, so there's something about that that she recognizes. If we weren't musicians, we could just go to college together. It's very inconvenient to fall in love at your age, especially if it's the real thing. All of a sudden, this terrible catastrophe happened. get into a terrible accident and she then has this kind of out body experience in the hospital where she flashes back on her life Say what am i gonna do here's the secret baby if you live if you die it's all up to you so whatever fight you got in you you gotta pull it out now breathe deep, breathe clear. with everybody gone it might be too hard for you to keep fighting but i want you to live you owe me a song Jamie Blackley is a rock star. He is incredible. He performed all the songs and recorded them, and he sang them live. It's hard to find someone who can sing, play guitar, and act really well and be cute. He just was the perfect Adam. I have never worked with an actor who works harder than Chloe Grace Moretz. Basically, I tried to cram in 15 years of cello experience in like three months. Chloe captured the essence of what it means to be a virtuoso cellist. Not just the rudiment to make it look great, but she knew how to, you know, do the finger picking. She made it look great. R.J. Cutler, the director, his musical knowledge is wild. I knew what I wanted it to sound like. He actually gave us these iPods. I put together a CD of music that I thought would kind of define the musical palette. Every character in the movie, he gave them their own iPod shuffle with music he thought they would listen to. People always say certain events will be the best day of your life, like your sweet 16 or your prom. The best day of my life was one I never even saw coming. The day she realized the cello was not a solo instrument. I'm not playing for you guys. Not for us, with us. Everybody comes out with this great Smashing Pumpkin song, and there she is with her cello playing along. Today is the greatest. She realizes that she's always been accepted by them. What life is, is being part of something larger. She actually recognizes she can be accepted. She allows herself to be accepted. You still have a family, Mia. Never really felt like I belonged until the night of the bonfire. That was where I belonged. That was who I belonged with. You're my own Mia.